15 Mysterious Questions of the British Royal Family We All Want to Be Answered Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will step into the intriguing side of the British monarchy as we explore the answers to 15 mysterious questions about the royal family. From age-old secrets and hidden scandals to untold stories of royalty, we will discover some of the most baffling mysteries surrounding the royal family. So join us as we shed light on the questions we all want answered. With that said, let's get started. Number 1. What happened to King Edward II? Starting our list with the infamous King Edward II's murder. His murder remains one of the most mysterious and controversial events in the history of the British monarchy. Edward II ascended to the throne in 1307, succeeding his father, King Edward I. His reign was filled with political strife that impacted his capabilities as a ruling leader. King Edward was known for his indecisive nature. His kingdom was left vulnerable to threats as he was never successful in asserting his authority over the kingdom. There was one significant issue during his time that is rumored to be the reason behind his murder. King Edward's close relationship with Piers Gaveston and later with Hugh de Spencer was not liked by the English noblemen. These men were rumored to be the king's lovers. Gaveston was a knight that became king's companion and advisor. This led to a series of civil unrest that eventually led to Gaveston's brutal execution in 1312. Hugh was a nobleman who was King Edward's next favorite. The rise of Hugh de Spencer added to the baron's grievances. He was greedy for power and known as a second king. The opposition to his over-involvement peaked at a rebellion led by his wife. In 1326, Queen Isabella and her lover, Roger Mortimer, led a successful revolt against Edward II, resulting in his deposition and imprisonment. On the night of September 21, 1327, Edward II reportedly met his demise while imprisoned at Berkeley Castle. Officially, his death was attributed to natural causes, but some speculated that his captors subjected him to a gruesome fate, including the insertion of a red-hot poker into his bowels as a reference to his homosexual relations. Number 2. What was the true nature of Queen Victoria and John Brown's relationship? Next on our list is the enigmatic association between Queen Victoria and her Scottish servant John Brown. After Prince Albert died in 1861, she sought solace in the company of John Brown, a Scottish servant. Their bond seemed emotional and intimate, sparking endless rumors and gossip among the court and the public. Brown held a unique role as Victoria's attendant and confidant, known for his fierce loyalty and protection of the grieving queen. Their closeness raised eyebrows, with some believing it went beyond mere friendship, yet others dismissed it as platonic. Their relationship was marked by trust and emotional reliance, with Victoria showering him with gifts and honors, further fueling speculation. Queen Victoria was devastated by his unexpected death. Her attempts to destroy certain letters after Brown's death added to the enigma. But recently, one of the letters was discovered by accident that revealed her profound affection for Brown often calling him the dearest and most devoted servant. Despite the endless rumors, the true nature of their relationship remains an intriguing historical mystery. We can only wonder about the depths of their connection and its significance in the Queen's life. Number 3. Was Queen Elizabeth I a virgin queen? Queen Elizabeth I, famously known as the Virgin Queen, also remains a mystery because of her title. The title stems from her reputed unmarried and celibate status during her reign. Though she strategically remained single to retain political power and independence, historians have pondered whether she truly lived up to this label. Being an unattached monarch enabled Elizabeth I to handle diplomatic relationships without the influence of a spouse. She cleverly used the possibility of marriage as a political tool, keeping suitors guessing. Despite her official narrative of celibacy, rumors and speculations about her personal life have persisted. Some historical accounts and gossip suggest secret affairs with prominent figures at court, such as Robert Dudley, her longtime favorite and rumored lover. During their lifetime, anonymous pamphlets like Lester's Commonwealth spread gossip about them. However, concrete evidence to confirm or refute these claims is scarce. 
And hence, we can consider that this buzz might have been spread for political motives or to undermine her authority as a female ruler. In reality, Elizabeth's and Robert's relationship was more complex and human. They had known each other since childhood and held each other's back during testing times. Nonetheless, historians continue to debate the true extent of Queen Elizabeth I's romantic life. The mystery surrounding her relationship adds an intriguing layer to the perplexing figure of the Virgin Queen, but whether she was truly a Virgin Queen remains an unsolved historical puzzle. Number 4. Was Jack the Ripper Royalty? The unknown identity of Jack the Ripper has remained an unsolved mystery in London. While not directly related to the royal family, this infamous serial killer terrorized London in the late 1800s, leaving behind a trail of gruesome murders that shook the Whitechapel district. Numerous letters signed by Jack the Ripper were sent by the killer to fuel fear and speculation. Despite an extensive investigation and numerous suspects, the killer's identity remained unknown. Over the years, various theories have emerged, from local criminals to medical professionals and even members of aristocracy. Some conspiracy theories suggest a link to the British royal family, guessing that the killer may have been a royal physician or had close ties to the monarchy. One such theory suggested Prince Albert Victor, the grandson of Queen Victoria, to be the killer. But his absence from London during the killings debunked this theory. While conspiracy theories connecting the royal family to Jack the Ripper exist, none of them have been supported by evidence, and the true identity of this notorious murderer continues to be a mystery, forever haunting the annals of criminal history. Number 5. What caused the fire at Windsor Castle in 1992? Next on our list is the catastrophic fire that engulfed Windsor Castle on November 20, 1992. It was a shocking event that deeply affected the nation and the world. The fire's origin was traced back to a spotlight improperly placed in the Queen's Chapel, which ignited the curtains and rapidly spread throughout the historic castle. The intensity of the blaze caused extensive damage to major parts of the castle, including St. George's Hall, the Grand Reception Room, and the private apartments of the Duke and Duchess of York. Tragically, around 100 rooms were affected, resulting in the loss or damage of invaluable artworks, historical artifacts, and priceless treasures. Officially ruled as an accident, some conspiracy theories emerged, suggesting that the fire might have been intentional. The fire occurred during a tumultuous year for Queen Elizabeth II, known as her Annus Horribilis, when her family faced public marital issues and divorces. The timing fueled speculation that the fire could have been a deliberate attempt to worsen the Queen's already challenging year. However, no substantial evidence supports these claims, and the official explanation of an accidental fire stands. Number 6. What is the truth behind Prince Albert Victor and the Cleveland Street Scandal? Another mystery surrounds Prince Albert Victor and the Cleveland Street Scandal of 1889. This scandal rocked Victorian society with revelations of a male brothel on Cleveland Street catering to the elite and Prince Albert Victor's name was allegedly linked to it. Whispers swirled, claiming that the prince visited the brothel frequently and engaged in illicit affairs with young men. However, the truth remains elusive and highly controversial. Some historians propose that the allegations were a well-orchestrated cover-up by the government to protect the aristocrats and other influential men. On the flip side, some argue that Prince Albert was indeed involved in homosexual activities at the brothel. However, despite extensive research, no definitive evidence has emerged to prove or disprove Prince Albert Victor's connection to the Cleveland Street Scandal. Thus, the truth remains veiled in mystery, leaving historians pondering over the possibility of a fabricated controversy in this chapter of British royalty. Number 7. Who was King George IV's secret wife? One mystery from the annals of British royal history continues to intrigue historians and romantics alike, the mysterious hidden wife of King George IV. This intriguing tale centers around Maria Fitzherbert, a Catholic woman, and her secret relationship with the king. In the year 1785, love's forbidden bonds brought them together, and they wedded in utmost secrecy. Yet, their union posed a grave dilemma for King George IV. As marrying a Catholic was against the law for any member of the British royal family at that time. To safeguard the monarchy and his position, the king veiled his marriage to Maria from the public and even from most members of the royal family. 
As the sands of time trickled by, pressure mounted on King George IV to marry a suitable Protestant princess and produce a legitimate heir to the throne. Reluctantly, he entered into a formal marriage with Princess Caroline of Brunswick, though his heart remained with Maria Fitzherbert. Regrettably, much of their correspondence and evidence of the secret marriage was intentionally destroyed, leaving the exact nature of their relationship shrouded in mystery. Their controversial love story weaves a captivating thread into the rich history of the British royal family. Number 8. What's Inside Queen Elizabeth II's Handbag? The next mystery that still bewilders royal enthusiasts is, what was inside Queen Elizabeth II's handbag? This iconic accessory was inseparable from Her Majesty during her public appearances, be it official events, engagements, or leisurely outings. Yet, its contents have remained veiled in secrecy. The Queen's handbag exuded classic elegance, always impeccably coordinated with her outfit. Though its size appeared modest, it concealed a treasure trove of secrets. While speculations arose regarding its possible contents like a compact mirror, lipstick, and tissues, the truth remains elusive. One of the most fascinating aspects is how the Queen discreetly communicated with her staff through her handbag. Reports suggest that the positioning or movement of the handbag may have conveyed signals to her aides, indicating when she wished to conclude a conversation or move on to the next engagement. Despite the curiosity of many, the contents of the Queen's handbag remains absolutely private. This discretion only adds to the mystique surrounding the beloved monarch and her cherished accessory. Number 9. Why did Edward VIII abdicate the throne? Another question we want an answer to is why Edward VIII abdicated the throne. Just 11 months into his reign, he stunned the world with his decision. Officially, it was to marry Wallace Simpson, an American with two divorces. Marrying her was a direct conflict with the Church of England's teachings. However, beyond the official reason, historians and royal biographers believe there were other factors at play. Edward VIII seemed disinterested in the monarchy's responsibilities and was viewed as a controversial figure. Concerns arose about his judgment and associations with individuals linked to Nazi Germany. Political pressures might have contributed as Edward's abdication paved the way for his younger brother, George VI, to take the throne. George VI was deemed more stable during turbulent times like the looming World War II. Though the desire to marry Wallace Simpson was the official explanation, the true motivations behind Edward VIII's abdication remain a historical puzzle. A combination of personal, political, and societal factors likely influenced his choice to step down and pursue a life with the woman he loved. Number 10. What's the truth about Prince Charles's relationship with Camilla before Diana? The next one on our list is considered the most talked about topic of this generation. This mystery revolves around Charles's relationship with Camilla before Princess Diana. Persistent rumors suggest they were romantically involved even before Charles married Diana. Their story began in the early 1970s when they first met and formed a close bond. However, societal expectations and disapproval from some members of the royal family hindered their connection. Camilla's background and past relationships deemed her an unsuitable match for the future king. In 1973, Charles joined the Royal Navy and Camilla married Andrew Parker Bowles, leading them to part ways. Yet, whispers of their ongoing closeness never faded. During the tumultuous 1980s, Charles's marriage to Diana faced difficulties as talks of an affair with Camilla surfaced, and a leaked phone conversation between them in 1992 fueled the speculations even more. In 1994, Charles and Diana officially separated, shedding light on his relationship with Camilla. They were finally married in 2005, and Camilla became the Duchess of Cornwall. Although neither of them has publicly addressed the full extent of their pre-Diana relationship, the rumors have left a lasting impact on public perceptions. Despite the controversies, King Charles and Camilla have continued to navigate their royal duties and personal lives side by side. Number 11. What happened between Prince Andrew and Virginia Jufri? The next unanswered question that continues to intrigue the public revolves around Prince Andrew's relationship with Virginia Jufri. The allegations are intertwined in a highly disputable and intricate legal situation. Virginia Jufri was formerly known as Virginia Roberts. She claimed she was trafficked by convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein and forced into sexual encounters with Prince Andrew when she was underage. In response, 
Prince Andrew boldly denied any recollection of meeting Virginia Jufri and insisted that the infamous photograph of them together was doctored. The scandal surrounding Prince Andrew and his ties to Epstein continued to intensify, drawing media and public scrutiny. This mounting controversy led him to step back from his royal duties in November 2019. As of now, the legal case involving Prince Andrew and Virginia Jufri remains unresolved, with conflicting accounts and ongoing investigations. The situation has significantly impacted the reputation of the British royal family and raised questions about accountability in positions of power. Number 12. What is the reality behind Princess Margaret's affair with Roddy Llewellyn? Princess Margaret, Queen Elizabeth II's younger sister, caused quite a stir when pictures of her and Roddy Llewellyn, a landscape gardener, on a private Caribbean island made headlines. At the time of the affair, Princess Margaret was already married to Antony Armstrong Jones, the Earl of Snowdon. Her involvement with a younger, commoner man garnered criticism from traditionalists and the media. Despite the public scandal, the truth behind Princess Margaret and Roddy Llewellyn's relationship remains a blend of speculation and secrecy. Some sources suggest it was a genuine and passionate romance, while others considered it a mere fling. Her marriage to Armstrong Jones was already facing challenges, and her affair with Llewellyn intensified the strain. Eventually, the affair contributed to the breakdown of her marriage, leading to their divorce in 1978. Princess Margaret's affair with Llewellyn became a defining chapter in her life, captivating interest even after she died in 2002. Though the full extent and nature of their relationship may never be entirely unveiled, the affair remains a significant part of the legacies of the British royal family. Number 13. Who are the hidden descendants of the royal family? Throughout history, whistles and talks about illegitimate children and secret heirs have captured our collective imagination. They spark intriguing conspiracy theories. One fascinating tale involves Queen Elizabeth I, the Virgin Queen. Some believe she had an illegitimate son named Arthur Dudley with her confidant, Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester. Though evidence is lacking, this theory has mesmerized historians and enthusiasts for ages. Beyond that, rumors persist about potential hidden descendants of the royal family members. Speculations range from King George III's illegitimate children to possible descendants of Queen Victoria's numerous offspring. While these stories add an air of mystery and excitement to the monarchy's history, it is crucial to approach them with skepticism. Historical evidence is often scarce and inconsistent, and many of these claims lack proof. Number 14. What was the real reason behind Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's exit? The next mystery that still intrigues the world revolves around the real reason behind Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's exit from the royal family. It is famously dubbed as Megxit. While media scrutiny played a significant role in their decision, other factors undoubtedly influenced their departure from senior royal roles. One crucial factor was the couple's yearning for a more private and independent life. Meghan Markle faced intense media scrutiny and unfair tabloid criticism that took a toll on her mental health. The invasive coverage of their personal lives drove them to seek a life away from the royal spotlight. Prince Harry has always had a fraught relationship with the media, which was largely influenced by the tragic loss of his mother, Princess Diana. This also contributed to their decision. He wanted to shield his wife, Meghan, and their young son, Archie, from the pressures of public life and the intrusive media spotlight. The couple also expressed a desire to pursue their charitable initiatives and projects outside of the traditional royal duties. In January 2020, an agreement was reached with the Queen, allowing Harry and Meghan to step back from their royal roles while maintaining some ties to the royal family. Despite ongoing public interest and debates, the true extent of the factors that influenced their decision remains unknown only to the couple themselves. This is why the puzzle of Megxit remains unsolved, leaving us to ponder the complexities of their royal departure. Number 15. Is there a curse on the Tower of London? For centuries, people have believed that the Tower of London is cursed because of its dark and tragic history. It was a place where important people, like queens and nobles, were executed, which made it seem very spooky. The curse story has been kept alive through scary tales told by tour guides and storytellers to entertain tourists. However, there is no solid evidence to prove that a real curse exists. The sad events that happened in the tower were mostly due to politics and the chaotic past of England, not because of any magic. 
While the Tower of London undoubtedly has a macabre history, the idea of a genuine curse remains more in the realm of folklore and legend rather than concrete historical evidence. This brings us to the end of our video. Comment down your thoughts on these mysteries. Which of these 15 stories about the British royal family intrigue you the most? Do you believe that some of these questions will ever be answered or will they remain a secret forever? Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.